favourite of all the words is a word that my granny used to use, and we assumed it was a made-up word. It was only recently I discovered the proper origin of this word. If we had asked my Scottish granny, what's for lunch? She would have rooted about in the fridge, she would have hooked about and found an egg and found a bit of cheese and found some milk, and she'd said, kickshaws. I thought, what on earth is kickshaws? And assumed it was just one of my granny's funny words. But much, much later, this is just a few years ago, I was reading the poetry of Robert Ferguson, who was a predecessor of Robert Burns in Scotland, one of Burns' great heroes, his, his literary big brother, and came across the word kickshaws in the very context of something to eat. And it turns out that it actually goes right back historically to the old alliance between France and Scotland. And the French word for something is kelkishows. And when the Scots got kelkishows and pronounced it in their Scottish accent, it turned into kickshaws. So kickshaws is a word that our family uses all the time if you're rummaging around to see what you're going to throw together for lunch. And there's nothing very inspiring in the fridge. You'll be eating kickshaws. There isn't really any translation for that Ulster Scots word, thran. Uh, uh, it, it speaks of, of a, a whole culture and attitude. Uh, it, it doesn't just mean awkward. There is no other word to uh, substitute for it. Uh, of course, it's a... Uh, it it uh, de derives from, from, from Scots and it also uh, derives from a, an old English word which means to twist. So I suppose uh, twisted would be the best translation there is. But in terms of attitude, um, thran is the only word that, uh, that quite characterises that. Well, she's going to say that she's going to say that she's going to say that she's going as Minica Kurukester, we legi Frosas Perinish, I love you, can't in your chushiness. Gailga, August need your chair to do we hin. Your vint with your conal is moving to Gestil a pubble, your conal a conch, a hard no more a conch the gossard, clean a legi shock who were Cree Shaka Wami, no Cree Shaka Yadi. August no Cree and no Hishin and Fuckle Hartas Perla, August Cree Shaka Yadi. Chicken to Tosha an Tarada Egan an Dina Bantlish, Agus an Shiva Bantlish, Agus Tanishin Lumber Lagan Kanchi. The strong one I like because my, my great aunt used to do that when they were, they were, they were they're, they're this very empty kitchen, and yet suddenly from it that this wealth of food appeared from apparently nowhere, and there was always tea, and it was always tea. And as I said, they would say to my father, "Now we strewn a tea, David." Hanik and Falkel shun mehel chogum, August shun Falkel a horn she sir choa brew and mask and fobel la rodi horchig de. River shaw shun rodi yeni a mask a fobel, damo danya chen na damo bancha hans a fobel haku nefer lig lahela gus wanya chido woin. My father-in-law was a dialect speaker, although he had travelled around the world a bit to do with his job, but he still sort of retained a good vocabulary of, of Ulster dialect. And one of his favourites was Clan Jamfrey. And um, I had the whole family in, a dozen of them, for lunch on Sunday. It was absolute bedlam, and I just looked around and I thought, Grandpa would be saying, what a Clan Jamfrey. The whole rabble, the whole mixter maxter and noise and, you know, um, it's such an expressive one that I just, I just love that bit of it. Um, the other ones are things that I would remember a lot from my Scottish childhood, funnily enough, and uh, things like Tholan. Um, you know, we put up with things and thole's a very very old way of expressing that I think it's it's very expressive uh, but it is actually an old English one that is a very very um, early English expression. Lurkin spade is uh, is is one that uh, that sticks in my mind because of course it's a place called Lurkin 
and why shouldn't there be a type of spade named after Larkin? But uh, the museum had extensively consulted manufacturers of spades and nobody knew of a Larkin spade. It's actually Irish, Lurg and Spad. <laughs> It's the shaft of a spade. So if somebody has a face like a Lurgan spade, they have a long face. Get more from the Open University. Check out the links on screen now.